Activision is out for blood, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, guys? Creepers here. I'm back from my break. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it right now. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about this another time. But uh, recently, uh, the community project SM2 got shut down by Activision. They received cease and desist. And it, this is it's heartbreaking for a lot of people, including me. Because SM2 was supposed to be like the community made, like, like just full on, like, nostalgia based call of duty they were gonna do it on the mw2 engine and then they switched to the modern warfare master engine and like a week after that they got shut down and today we got even worse news x labs got shut down if you don't know x labs or you're just not around this entire call of duty space in general they host uh iw4x iw6x and s1x which is Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I personally played them quite a bit. I I think I still technically have them installed. I their servers are their servers are most likely down. BO3 shut down, which was a work in progress uh, mod for Black Ops 3, so that you can play that online safely without having to worry about uh, all the things that are going around. And they also of course let you play for free. I'm gonna imagine Activision did this because they all wait basically all these people offered a free alternative to get the game which is usually just a torrent link this is it's a terrible day for the for the call of duty community because currently all of those games that basically got taken down except for sm2 were unsafe to play if you owned the official game on pc modern warfare 2 has not had a patch to my knowledge that has fixed any of the remote co-execution ex exploits so MW2 on online is still basically screwed right now. Call of Duty Ghosts, I'm not sure. Uh, it probably has a, it probably has one. And I know that Black Ops 3 had one. I don't know, if, I don't know if it got fixed. And I don't know about Advanced Warfare, of course. Uh, this is really scary because I think Plutonium's gonna get shut down next, assuming they're following this, because Plutonium hosts the Black Ops games. And I, I don't think, I don't think Plutonium's gonna last, honestly. I mean, actually, I haven't even checked right now. I will check right now. The Plutonium site is still up. Uh, X Labs, their, their site is gone. Like the error code just says that the domain doesn't exist anymore. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're still working, for now. I don't think they're gonna be around for much longer. Considering X Labs got shut down, I think Plutonium's gonna get shut down next. For people who actually purchase the game and want to play it safely, they don't have that option anymore. Like, uh, BO3, like, they said that they patched it and everything. I still use the community patch whenever I'm playing that game. Even though I play zombies by myself, like, all the time, I'm always running that patch. Because I just, I don't, I want to be safe, you know? I don't feel like losing my PC because I feel like playing a game that they won't release an update for to fix a critical bug. So... Activision, if you somehow hear this, fix your games, man. Either fix them or just let let them create their things. Like you guys are still charging full price for like decade old games. Of course we don't want to buy them. I don't want to spend sixty dollars on Black Ops 2. No one does. It's like it was a good game, but none of us are gonna buy it for sixty dollars. It's simply not worth it. It's a waste of money at that point. I mean, I spent $30 on Black Ops 3, and I kind of feel like it was, it was a waste of money. I I was deter I was actually thinking about refunding it, like, a couple days after I bought it, because I'm paying $30 for an old game. I mean, it was on sale, so I'm lucky that I did that. I'm lucky I didn't buy it at full price. I mean, actually, the price is a little bit more reasonable, because I spent $30 to play half of the game, which is zombies. So... But still, you're charging so much for these games. Like, even new games have, like, insane deals on them, and I haven't seen you guys go that low. Like, for example, Modern... Uh, not Modern. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11 uh, is extremely cheap on Steam right now. I bought the Ultimate Edition with the Injustice 2, like, uh, Deluxe Edition bundle for $10. Two games, all the DLCs, for $10. And I can't even get all the DLCs for $30 on Black Ops 3 with the game. Like, I'm pretty sure it's it's $60 right now. Yeah, it, it is six, it's $60. Yep. 
Get your to buy every single Call of Duty game that is currently on Steam right now, and I have a discount because I own because I own some of these is eight hundred and seventy two dollars. Now, granted, this does come with all the DLCs, but that is still for the outrageous price that they are offering these games for. Like, why is Call of Duty One still twenty dollars? It's the first Call of Duty. It has been out for 17... It, it's going to be 17 years old this year. And it is $20. I don't care about sales, because most games go on sale like all the time. And you're still charging an outrageous price. Okay, and I just looked at this Call of Duty franchise bundle. It doesn't even include the newer games. Advanced Warfare is the furthest it goes. Yeah, so this is just kind of like a warning. Uh, if you do still have these downloaded, I, I don't know if you can actually, I mean, since like servers are all community ran, you can probably still connect to things, but this basically means, uh, don't delete them because you're going to have to find other ways to get the game if you didn't pay for it. So just make sure that you keep those installed. If you really want the disk space, I mean, just make sure that you at least have the, uh, the torrent file. Yeah, sad, sad day for the community. Uh, I'm sorry about taking, like, a month break again. I said that I was going to upload, like, a couple days after my Mars 64 video, and I just haven't done anything. Uh, some stuff is going on. I don't I don't want to get into it. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Wake up to the money like high Gamar, and keep three hoes on me, now I think I'm Marvin. But they only count enough if it's blue like Corbin. Don't hit my line if you know I'm recording, because I got these hits, but now she want to have my kids, but this ain't Murray. Povich, I heard your last man shop that list. You know I'm popping off, I guess a lot of guap. She trying to take it off, like it's Mardi Gras. Yeah, 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 yeah,